Hey everybody, I uh, haven't talked to you in a while and there's a reason. I was on a wonderful, wonderful vacation and I'm excited to be back. I am sitting in my car right now roasting and the sun is beating in, so sorry about the glare here. But um, so I actually wanted just to pop on and tell you some tips about traveling, especially after you're traveling. Um, so I got back yesterday and the scale was up. <laughs> I worked out pretty much every day on vacation. We, my family and I went to Disney and um, we love Disney. Um, so if you're a Disney lover, please put it in the comments. Let me know what your favorite ride is at Disney down below in the comments. Um, I'll put in mine after the live show is over. But, um, so anyway, I got back, um, the other day and I jumped on the scale and I was up quite a bit. Um, I know I ate fairly well, but I also kept everything in check. Um, but I also treated myself because that's what you do on vacation, right? So, um, in this short little video, I am going to give you reasons why my scale went up and how you can combat that. So the next time you go on vacation, you can hopefully offset some of those extra pounds that are coming on. Um, so before I get into the reasons, I just wanted to let you know, if you are local to South Jersey on July 12th, which is a Friday at noon, I will be at the training room in Sewell, New Jersey. And together we are going to be doing two separate workshops. Um, one is on ankle mobility, um, having causing back pains, which is very interesting because I have a background in physical therapy, so I find that interesting that a lot of things, um, like you think is your back is your problem, but it's actually probably coming from your feet. Um, and also, I will be giving a seminar on how to crush your cravings. So if you're interested in that, go to this page, the Shape It Up page, and you can find it under events, and just click that you're interested, and you get more information there. Or you can put it in the comment section below, ask a question, and I'll be happy to answer it. Okay, so on to some tips for post scale weight gain after you go on vacation. Um, I personally feel that you should be able to enjoy food and not feel like you have to suffer and you should be able to enjoy your vacation. Am I right? Give me a like for that. <laughs> um, but I do try to keep things in check because we go to Disney so often. I kind of know what I want and I will tell you my favorite thing there is at the Garden Grill breakfast and it's cinnamon bun. So if you've been following me at all, you know cinnamon buns is one of my favorite things to eat. Um, so I know I look forward to that, and I eat that, and I enjoy it. But I try to keep everything else in check. I try to get some vegetables. I try to get lean meats um, and try to keep it relatively in check. Um, when you are out and about and you are relying on other people to make your food, it's a little bit more challenging, especially at Disney. Um, the second reason the scale probably is going up is salt, sugar, and heat. If you were anywhere in Florida last week, it was sweltering hot. Um, I am home back in New Jersey, and it's it's actually not too bad right now, but I heard it was very hot here too as well. So uh, salt and sugar will definitely puff you up, and water, lack of water, even if you're drinking a lot of water, you need a lot of water if you're sweating um, in the heat. So make sure you stay hydrated. Um, the other reason is too, uh, we flew. So if you're flying, you definitely retain some more fluid when you're flying. It's different when you're in a car, you still retain some fluid because you're just being inactive. Um, and you probably don't want to stop 9,000 times to go to the bathroom. But um, a lot of times um, in flying, you know, you definitely don't want to get up to go to the bathroom. Um, and you're, if you have a lot of turbulence like we did coming home, uh, you're stuck in that chair. So um, I'm going to give you some tips at the end of the video to combat that. So, but that could be another reason why the scale is up. Um, so if you are just jumping in on this video, I also want to let you know about the event that I am doing with the training room. We are doing a dual workshop on July 12th, Friday at noon to 1 PM. If you want to check it out, you just go to the events page right here on the shape it up channel or <laughs> shape it up Facebook page. And you can find more information on that. Okay. So, so here are my tips. Kind of said it in the beginning with the favorite foods. You got to pick what you really want to eat. Um, if you've been there often or if you travel there often, then you probably have a good idea what you want to eat or if you're going to like a local chain restaurant, that kind of thing. Um, or experiment and try different foods and see what you like. Just try and keep it relatively in check. Number two, you want to keep healthy selections. So if you eat a huge breakfast at... Um, 
if you eat a huge breakfast, then maybe you should have a smaller lunch or maybe skip lunch and then just have dinner. So use your discretion when you're away. Um, number three, pr- uh, flying. Make sure you get your water in, right? We just talked about that. I like to try to chug as much water as I can before I get on the plane. Um, and if you time it correctly, you will be able to make it through the flight. Um, or, you know, I do recommend that you get up during the flight and, and walk around and walk to the bathroom. I know you can't congregate in the areas anymore, which is fine. Uh, but, um, you can definitely get up from your seat and go to the bathroom or whatever, stretch your feet, that kind of thing. So definitely water before you fly and after you fly. So when you get home, start drinking that water. Um, so I know my scale weight went up because of Disney, um, mainly because most of it is water weight and I know I'll drop that in two to three days. Um, you got to give yourself some time. So don't beat yourself up when you come home and you look at that scale and you're like, Oh my God, I failed and all that stuff. That's not helping you. A lot of it is water. You could easily gain five pounds of water. Um, you might gain a pound or two of fat depending on what you're eating and if you're going crazy on your food, but generally speaking, five pounds of water is not unheard of. Um, the important thing is, is that when you get home, you get back on track right away. So again, like I said, as soon as you get home from that flight, you start drinking your water. Hopefully it's not too close to when you go to bed, but I would definitely hydrate. Um, then the next day you get right back on track with your eating and, uh, you'll be surprised in two to three days how much you depuff. Um, also that includes workouts. Don't beat yourself up with cardio. Just get back to your normal routine. If you need a routine, you can absolutely reach out to me. Um, If you like, go to shapeitupfitness.com for more information on that. All right, so those are my tips for you today. Remember, we have an event coming up at the training room in Sewell on July 12th. And uh, you can find out information um, on this page at the Shape It Up Facebook page, and you can check it out. I hope to see you there if you're in the South Jersey area. And look out for me because I will be doing some live videos like this throughout the next month. Um, If you have a topic that you would like, go ahead and type it in the comment section below. And until then, get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. And I will see you next time. Bye.